Hello, welcome to another render demo video tutorial. I'm Mark Hokovec and I'm going to be taking you through Adobe Illustrator Advanced. If you have not used Illustrator before, you probably want to get my Adobe Illustrator Basic, which takes you through the Illustrator's interface, such as tools, your window panels, and everything you need to know to get to this point. And from there, um, I'll be taking you through uh, how to render this training shoe using only Illustrator. Um, in my process, I do go back and forth to Photoshop, Sketchbook Pro, and, and Illustrator. I kind of work in between all those programs. But for this exercise and this demo, we're just going to do everything exclusively using Illustrator and see how realistic we can make this shoe look um, just with vector program uh, tips and tricks. So first off I started with a sketch I did in Sketchbook Pro in, um, and what you want to do is really make sure that your your shapes and proportions are all correct uh, before you start creating your line art in Illustrator. Of course you can kind of tweak the lines that you create here but if you're pretty far off it's just going to make things harder so it's better to kind of resolve those proportions earlier in the sketch phase than it is to do that here in Illustrator and I've condensed this footage down to um, only a couple minutes and it did take me about 40 minutes to kind of go go through that uh, sketch and develop those shapes and kind of figure and resolve things in there. So what I did to begin this was I took this sketch, I flipped it so it's facing and pointing in the left direction so you can kind of see the logo is is inverted and flipped. So th don't worry about that, we'll get into creating that later on uh, correctly. But I turned the transparency down to about 50% just so I can see my black line art and um, it doesn't get too confusing and I start, um, I made a new layer and created all my lines on a separate layer. So after all my shapes are created, I go through and just fill in with some basic color. Now I'm not gonna commit to these colors, it's just fairly primary colors just to see where the color blocking is gonna happen. And it's just to see what different shapes or you know, what those pieces are gonna be. And just helps so it's not just a clean black and white line art just helps helps me visualize a little bit better and lastly I haven't added any of the details such as components um, logos textures uh, stitching meshes anything like that we'll do that later on when we get into actually uh, the rendering process we'll, we'll start pulling those things in so uh, let's get started and I uh, hope you enjoy <laughs> 